Hello guys, today I have here a quick video for you because I've been receiving many questions about what software do I use to simulate the bikes and analyze the bikes. So the software is the linkage and you can find the software on this page, thebikechecker.com. So the software consists on two versions, the personal version and the professional version. You can also try and download the demo version with uh, limited features. Regarding prices, the, the personal uh, version costs about $25 and the professional one costs about $300. $300. The software also includes a bike library where you can find more than 1000 uh, bike models uh, in the library. Okay, so how do you use the software? I, I'm just going to briefly show how to use it. So you can go to the web library and you can access these on the demo version. And then you can select uh, one bike for instance. And here you have the software showing you the bike model. Now you can do a bunch of stuff like moving the suspension up and down. You can see here the graphs for the leverage ratio for the anti-squats, anti-rises and so on. Uh, you can see here some more details like uh, the maximum shock compression. You can see the frame geometry and uh, so on and so forth. You can also see the instant center's position and the anti-rise and anti-squat lines. And you can also change the, the cogs on the transmission to see the, the results. So there are a lot of stuff that you can do in this software and as you can imagine I cannot cover all of, of, of this in just one single video. However I can show you how to make uh, a new model and for that you, you click create model and then you have to use uh, a good photo okay, uh, without any distortion or in preference uh, you need to use a schematic drawing. If you use a schematic drawing, the accuracy will be close to 100%. Okay, so very accurate. If you use a photo, it depends of the quality of the photo and the distortion of, of the photo, but it's not 100% accurate. But it can be a very close approximation. So in this case, we have here the new intense. It's um, a VPP design. So you have to select the, the type of design first, VPP. And then you have to click uh, on the specific pivots. Okay, so in this case, it says click on the rear axle and you have to click on the rear axle. So I'm, I'm making this re really quick. Now it, it says click on bottom bracket and you click on bottom bracket. Okay, so then you click on front axle, then you have to click on the shock pivots. Okay, I'm doing this really quickly. Okay, so when you finish uh, to click in all points, you can draw um, you can draw the textures, the the polygons. You can draw the polygons to make your model prettier, but this is not needed, just optional. Okay. So I'm doing here the polygon, polygons of the rear triangle in a very quick and sketchy way, but you get the idea. Okay, it yeah, more or less like that. Good. So I will move on. So when you finish drawing everything, there is more parameters that you have to tweak, like the shock placement and a very important one, the calibration. Okay, you have to to, to give a, a precise measure to the software in order to calibrate the model. So you can use the Shenstein lens or if you know the wheelbase, it's better to use the wheelbase. After setting the calibration, you select the transmission you want. Then before completing, you have to set uh, other additional parameters like the geometry parameters in order to make your model as precise as possible. If you did everything correctly, you should end up with something like this, okay? Then you have to tweak the center of gravity position to make it more uh, realistic. 
and that's basically it so you have to play with the software to learn to learn there is a lot of options that you you can play um, you have also here the SAC calculator where you can determine the SAC for this bike and you have also many many other options so I, I would recommend you to, to, to test the software, download the demo version or probably purchase the personal version. The personal version is very complete. Um, I have the professional version which has some extra features but the personal one uh, is also very complete. And that's it guys for today. I will try to make more videos uh, really soon. And see you next time. Bye!